What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a sort of unboxing and review of one of my favorite movies of all time in horror, and that is City of the Living Dead on 4K. It's out, thanks to Cauldron. Let's see what it's all about. So yeah, I've never actually ordered from Cauldron before. This is my first release, and I'm going to give you kind of my opinions on it, what this limited release is like, because you're not going to be able to pick this one up, but they do have the regular release out that you can purchase now. So I'm going to show you what I got with the limited release that has some extras and things that came with it that I was really excited to get and jumped on board right away. This sold out immediately. But for future reference, you might want to keep Cauldron in the front to know when they got stuff coming out so that you can get a notification to know when some of your favorite movies are out. City of the Living Dead. Let me just talk real quick about what I think about this movie. And for those of you who do not know what this movie is, this is an Italian masterpiece by none other than Lucio Fulci. Now, it's up in the air whether or not this is your favorite movie of his, but there are so many different movies that he has done that people love. Some say zombies some say the beyond a lot of people say the beyond this is my favorite movie by lucio fulci but not my only favorite movie of his city of the living dead is essentially about a priest that hangs himself in a cemetery and by doing so unleashes the gates of hell one of which on the earth and all hell literally breaks loose it's gory it's atmospheric it's fantastic and i absolutely love it i love it so much that not only have i been following this movie for a while but i have the vhs of it of the gates of hell which is the american title by the way if you look on the back here but it says the priest suicide a young girl buried alive in a strange rain mixed with ash unleash a tip on mixed with ash that's return of the living dead dog Anyway, I always thought that was really funny, so I've always kept this. I picked up the DVD, of course, because I had to get that. Anchor Bay, uh, if you can see there, the Anchor Bay release. And then, of course, Blue Underground did theirs as well. Now, there are an Arrow and uh, quite a few others that have done releases. But now we got Cauldron Films to the mix. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, let's show you what's inside. So this is a special edition. So not only do you get the cover here, which is embossed, it has like, you know, the raised lettering. It's got like the spots on it that reflect. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. They did a really fantastic job on this like we got a little bit of a nick in the cover here that sucks but uh yeah the case comes with the slip on here i put the original one in here this is the 4k edition you know obviously but this has uh, a reversible cover so that you can do both i just like the original the name city of the living dead but i love the picture of gates of hell that they use even though this cover is pretty fantastic so whatever you prefer you can have on there uh, obviously we got a list of special features that are on here i'll kind of get into those a little bit there's nothing too new there's a couple of new things in there but the most of it is just from other releases and such plus they do have a couple of things in here that are surprises that some of you may not know about your own copy so stick around i'll tell you a little bit about that now this release came with also the soundtrack from fabio fritzi now there's a whole story on the opening song of the city of the living dead and who wrote it and everything like that there was a big debate on what should have been in the intro or whatever and fulci kind of went with the song that was on there but you get your whole track listing and everything separate disc that if you open this up bam kind of cool right the disc in here these this is the only thing I would say I'm really not too fond of is the discs are kind of, mm, I feel like they could have done some artwork on them because if you look at the actual 4Ks, you get the 4K here, the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray extras. 
The Blu-ray extras disc is region free, I believe. I did not check the regular Blu-ray, so I don't know. And ultra high def discs are region free for the most part. There's very, very few in existence that are regioned. Surprising thing that you might find on the extras disc here is not only do you have all the extras from a lot of this different stuff, but you do have a VHS burn of the movie if you go all the way over to the end of the extras and hit over and then enter. It'll play the entire movie on VHS, which is pretty cool. The only thing that would beat that would be the 35 millimeter print that I would love to have <laughs> to see like the actual print of the 35 millimeter so you get the this this and you also get a poster of city of living dead right here and the reverse side which is the gates of hell which i actually have one up on the same thing as this right here up on my wall right now and blown up uh this actually looks a little bit better it's not as washed out as the one i got but and last but not least we get the stickers Yes, these wonderful stickers that you see here that are from different scenes in the movie, which I don't know, man. Like, if I had a laptop, I might actually put these on. <laughs> I mean, they got stuff like the, the blow-up doll, the priest getting stabbed in the dick, the brain smashing, puking her guts out, him hanging, the sister in the window, the face uh, full of worms, the drill in the head and the opening scene with the actual tombstone. They don't have this copy again anymore, but they will have this version, I believe, that you can get the entire thing. It may just come in a regular 4K case like this. I don't know, I haven't looked it up. I'll put a link down below for you guys to pick a copy up from them though. The actual copy of this movie, it looks really good. One of the things about this film is that it's had some a couple of rough transfers over the times, and uh, now it, we actually have a pretty decent transfer. It is an older film, so there is gonna be a little bit of grain in here but i think they did a really good job of actually making it at work this has a, a mono sort of theatrical track that you're going to be able to listen to on the english version but the really cool thing about this one is is that it also has the italian version so it'll have english subtitles and you can listen to the italian version it'll have the italian intro and uh name and credits are in italian as well so it you know however you prefer to watch it but the uh, italian and the english are all theatrical mono does sound pretty good not the dts or you know surround sound or anything like that but it sounds really good to me and it works fine for me and it looks really good too so but if that's a deal breaker for you i understand maybe they'll put out a different version but i personally think this is a really fantastic release from cauldron very happy from what i got so far from them and i'll probably be picking up more stuff from them in the future knowing that this release is out there and exists yeah really cool to have all of this here together in one fantastic release so did you guys pick up one of these are you going to pick up the regular general release of the city of the living dead let me know what you think in the comment section down below i just wanted to share that with you because this is my first time actually getting a copy and i wanted to share it with you guys just to kind of show you what i think but this is one of my favorite movies and i i hope you at least check this movie out if you've never heard of it before um it is fantastically gory and fantastically atmospheric some people laugh at it when they watch it but i always took this movie very seriously because i love the atmosphere in this movie but yeah i don't know it's, uh, it's definitely a unique film. One of my favorites of Fulci's. Let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Are you a City of the Living Dead fan? Gates of Hell fan? Whatever. The Beyond? Zombie? Which one is your favorite film of it? But uh, thanks for coming by, guys. And as always, long live the void.